everyone, Bill here at Project Manager. Today, I wanna to show you how to add tasks and task details to the Gantt chart so you can quickly make a thorough project plan. Let's start by adding the first phase of my project plan. To do so, we'll simply add tasks to the task name column. As I'm adding tasks, you can see that they're populating on the timeline on the right. Okay, I have the first phase of my project lined up. Let's make these tasks subtasks. I'm gonna highlight these three rows as if I was in Excel and indent them. Now it's a phase as indicated by the work breakdown structure column. One, 1, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Fantastic. So to get that classic waterfall structure, let's adjust the dates. I'm just gonna simply drag and drop some of these tasks to stretch them out a little bit. Maybe that one's a little too far. Let's be a little more reasonable. They're not all gonna start on the same day, so let's stretch them out. And if I want to establish any dependencies, all I have to do is simply drag and drop the tasks to connect them. Now, if I look over at the data grid, all that work I just did on the timeline is instantly reflected. You can see new plan start dates, plan finish dates, durations, that all reflect the timeline work I just did. So the grid and the timeline are completely interconnected. Let's add more details on the data grid. Let's assign the first task to somebody. Here we go. All right, Bill, I think it's gonna take you four hours to execute this task. This is a really handy feature because it will show your real-time availability, which is great for workload planning. All right, assign them to four hours. So now our planned hours are at four. And it automatically calculated my planned resource cost because Bill has an, a labor rate on his profile. Let's keep going. So now I'm in the actual columns. So let's say the task is being executed. It actually started a little bit later than we thought. It started in September. So I'm going to update that there and now I can compare the actual versus planned dates to keep my project on track. Same thing with the actual hours. Let's say it actually took them five hours to do it. Let's add those hours. Excellent, and update the actual cost by simply highlighting the cell and entering some data. So it's quite easy to use. I built the first phase of my project in just about three minutes, and I can add comments and attachments to these tasks to make sure my team has all the information they need to do their best work. So there you have it. Good luck building your Gantt chart for your project. Take care.